Hi, people. Here I am. Uh, wow, good to be back here today. Uh, just looking at the updates. Uh, got a lot of things to share with you today, as always. Uh, I'm hoping I can do it in 30 minutes. Uh, if not, well, might have to go a little bit. But don't worry about it. You know, I'm here to do what the Lord have called me to do. And I'm, I'm just happy that I can be his servant. I was just praying this morning using some of the spiritual warfare prayers. I really hope people are sending in for that because I'm telling you people these prayers are powerful. Uh, I would read just a little bit what I copied off this morning about these prayers. Uh, they come in different categories, like I'm saying. And for each situation in your life, if you want to speak over your children who are unsaved, if you want to speak over uh, your churches or your uh, uh, people in your life who are becoming like an enemy to you, and you want to pray for them, and because Yahweh said to love your enemies, pray for them, which despitefully use you and persecute you. So we need to learn how to pray over our families, over people who we don't think is doing us any good, but Yahweh want to change their life. So we need to just be praying over them, okay? I was so happy to talk to my mother today, and she was telling me about my brother who had a, a, a new job opportunity, because I've been praying for him to have something new in his life, because he had hurt himself last year. So I'm just saying, prayers work, people. We just need to believe. We need to believe and receive and trust the Almighty God to do it, and stop trying to figure it out. Trust Stop trying to do it ourselves. Try, stop trying to count every penny and every dime and trying to figure out, oh, well, if I don't do this, if I don't do that. You know, you need to give it to the Lord and let him do it. He have a thousand ways that he can do things for us. We allow him to do it. Okay. Uh, I have tons of testimonies I can talk about that on. I mean, um, I'm going to read this here now, what it's saying. This is coming from the Spiritual Warfare Prayer Book. Uh, this guy wrote, um, this uh, minister. I can't never call his name. I got to look his name up one of these days. I, I'm always skipping over his name. But when I first read the book, I know I read the whole book uh, from going through it, you know, skimming, scamming through it, going through it, skimming through it, I mean, and, uh, and looking at all the the different categories that you can pray for in your life, for prosperity, for getting out of debt, for, uh, you know, whatever it can be, you know. And I just love it. But he says here, I'm going to just read this one page I copied this morning. just came up like, I think it was the spirit talking here. And I'm just loving this word dispatch because if we dispatch those angels out there to go and take care of things in our life that need to be taken care of, he, the angels will work. Put your angels to work. So he says here, I speak all these things by trust and faith in Christ Jesus' name, Yeshua HaMashiach. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and that includes your seed, children, for your word says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Then lay hands on the person and continue to speak the following. In Christ Jesus' name, on name of Yeshua HaMashiach, name of the person, in Christ Jesus' name, I take, I guess I've been praying for Amanda a lot lately, and I'm praying for um, uh, my little grandson over in Alaska. He needs prayers right now. Uplifted. He was in the hospital last night. So I pray for them. I pray for them, Father. Uh, Amanda and, and Aiden over in Alaska, Father. And I speak upon you by impartation, healing, Father. Body, mind, and spirit in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In the case of these people, these persons I just named, who are reluctant to be prayed over or receive laying on of hands, this type of prayer can be said without them present. Remember, there is no space of time in the realm of the spirit, and prayer is a spiritual thing and is just as effective 1500 miles away as it is at the bedside do you understand that people prayer is still a most effective thing that we have i pray for raja all the time i pray for the ramaru i pray for udar i pray for lamek i pray for all these people all scattered in boston and uh, uganda uh Nassan, nasasi bob barbara and his ministry and the bible storm and you know we can pray for all kind of things in our life we can pray for our own husbands our own wives we can pray for our children our grandchildren who are being very rudy and and disobedient and and not wanting to hear the the word of God right now, but you can pray these spiritual warfare prayers over them, people, and dispatch your angels, and they will work for you. I'm telling you, they will work for you. So remember, it says, hey, remember, I love this. Read that again to you. Remember, there is no space or uh, time in the realm of the spirit, and prayer is a spiritual thing, and it's just as 
effective 1,500 miles away as it is at the bedside. I love that. It is not your effort, not your effort that is doing the healing and protecting. It is the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and the commands given in his name spoken out loud. So that's what I just had to read that to you coming from the Spiritual Warfare book. I want you to call, uh, send, write me a note. Mona, I want that spiritual warfare where I want that spiritual warfare booklet of uh, 56 46 pages and you could just read it online or you could just copy it if you use the copy make sure it's 18 fonts because the size is kind of sm the print is small uh so i'm gonna go here now and get some headlines and i'm gonna get to some readings more for you today people i i just been enjoying my morning got up and uh did some lunch with my husband before he went to work and i'm telling you we just gotta keep 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 these prayers before Yahweh because that's what we need, prayers. We need prayers and more prayer. More prayer, much prayer, much power. And we need it right now, people. So I'm just trying to encourage you to pray, pray, pray without ceasing, okay? So um, here's what I want to look at. Yeah, my uplines. Paul Begley, uh, he was talking about the flight over in Ch Egypt, this flight in Egypt. Wow. Terrible. Uh, it was blown out of the sky at 37,000 feet, people. Uh, I will post these links all down below. Uh, a lot of people dead on that flight there from uh, going to Egypt. Um, we heard about the Ecuador earthquake yesterday. It did become another. It was a second earthquake, I think a little larger than the first one. Uh, they were saying uh, tons of destruction was doing gone from that, uh, that earthquake. Um, and I would try to post these links down below. Uh, Yellowstone, I would give you the updates from, from Mary Greeley. Uh, she's talking about the Yellowstone Volcano. University of Utah got shut down. And uh, the it uh, was a large earthquake being censored. And a lot of things they're not telling us on the TV. They're not reporting to us. So I love Mary Greeley faithfulness and reporting, getting these reports out to us. Uh, fireballs being launched by satellites. Man, that was interesting last night. I stayed up late to read that. Daibu, uh, Dabu777 is talking about these deceptions coming. Japanese are testing all these things in the air. You know, you're seeing fireballs going all around. And, uh, and I told you, we're going to have lots of deceptions. You're going to think it's the real thing. And it's going to be things that man is doing to uh, try to bring in a new world order or trying to push things on the agenda that they're trying to do. Uh, and also, Pope and Israel have a seven-year agreement. I, I, I have, haven't had time to listen to that. I was trying to listen to that last night. So I'm going to listen to that. And then I, if I feel like it's real... Uh, uh, material that we that I can res you know if I believe that it's real legit information I will post it down below because I want to read about the Pope and Israel have a seven year agreement and so um, also here is I just got really sick in my heart yesterday uh, when I was thinking about my Nigerian uh, people over their parents who have you know had this big uprise uh, last year when their children was taken kidnapped. And now they are finding some of the kids in the woods, you know, uh, hunters was finding some people in the woods, pregnant, and, and took them back to their parents. And so I want you to continue praying for Africa people, uh, for the Nigerian uh, parents over there going through this totally just disturbing any kind of thing. It just happened to any race of people. It wouldn't matter. It's just a horrible situation when people come and take your kids away, uh, missing kids. When I go in Walmart and see all the missing kids on the wall and, and it's just so much horrible things going on in this nation and the world. And that's why we need much prayer, much power. We need these prayers to be going up for the nations, for the countries, for people. And, you know, we get so hung up on ourselves. Sometimes we don't think about others and we need to be praying for others all the time praying for your communities praying for others people okay because uh i don't know what all of us go through things in life and we need to just uplift one another encourage one another um also here i want to talk about an item that i just saw here a few minutes ago uh from a doctor actually uh from natural naturalnews.com and I think I got it from Begley, um, oh, not Begley, um, oh, oh, I can't call the guy name now. 
Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to talk about this systems are murdering us. The systems are murdering us. Extermination. If you are black, we are targeted more. But I don't want to make it a racist thing, okay? Because I know that a lot of these things are going on. That's why I'm so into holistic stuff. I'm so into taking care of things that God gave us to take care. You know, get God gave us like herbs and and whole holistic things that we can use for our own bodies. Uh, this gentleman here was saying that the water. You know, they've been pausing in the water, and also they've been. Um, Cancer, you know, cancer, cancer, cancer. I, I mean, really, it's true. I know about three people this year alone that has cancer. They breast remove. I know a friend of mine who I grew up with in the country. She has a, a breast problems going on. She had a breast removed. I have my a cousin had two breasts removed. I, I know everybody I know uh, seem to be having a cancer problem, whether it's colon cancer, uh, breast cancer, uh, 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 um. My, my ex-deceased husband died from uh, leukemia. And, you know, and I'm just saying it's all around. And they're saying it's targeting mostly the black people. And it's targeting a lot of people because they want money. It's a money-making business, okay? Pharmaceuticals are money-making business. And so I, I want to just put that short video down below and let you go over it and see what this guy have to say. Uh, try to go to his websites and check them out, naturalnews.com. And he's had one called Food forensic foodforensic.com and I thought it was very interesting the material because I know that this world is about money this is Satan's world it's all about money it's all about money it's not about the people it's not about trying to save you it's not about trying to protect you it's about money 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 and more money so we need to know the love of money is the root of all evil and that is what is happening in this world today people so I just want to just say I'm gonna leave all these links down below if I see some other materials before I upload um, I will post them as well as you notice I always try to put a little extra down and I may not get to talk about it but I do put a lot of little extra or links down sometime hoping that you will look at them okay today I'm gonna get to Maranatha the Lord is coming he have given me some real good material to go over with you last night and I just love uh, Ellen White so much because she just relating to what's going on today more than ever so I'm gonna go and read some material from her today again I I'm going to uh, also um, just want to read uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and read straight to her because I got a lot to cover right now. So anyway, people, I'm going to page 55, um, page 54, I'm sorry, first. And then I'm going to go to two other pages and read some material because it's all tying in together. And I really was uh, really attracted by this, this article here the Lord showed me this morning, Wise or Foolish, Wise or Foolish. Um, and you know, it's true because you can talk and preach and teach and do whatever you can to people and they will listen and not listen and go back and do whatever they want to do. I know I tell them people now, young ladies get married today and you know, a lot of them don't come to their father to, to get counsel or anything. Just rush into a relationship with some man they don't even know. And then, uh, they get married and then later, and, and later you find out that the marriage didn't, didn't work out. Uh, this man is not what they thought he was. And I'm telling you, I'm going to be preaching on that one day. I am. That women need to really guard themselves. They need to really look after themselves better. They need to research, research. They need to really know who they, what they're getting involved with. Sometimes we don't really know. I've had my problems with relationships, but I've learned a lot from mine with relationships. And I'm telling you, you cannot rush into a relationship. You need to know who these people are you're getting involved with. You need to know what their past life is about. You need to know their relatives. You need to know something about them. As Oprah used to always talk about, that's about the only thing I agreed with her own sometime. But she was talking about these relationships with people. And you know, we need to check them out, do a criminal report. And tr check out people because are you going to be wise or foolish? You know, I'm just going to say that can tie in with that as well because people need to check out people sometime before they give their whole life to a person. That's why I know Yeshua HaMashiach, we can check him out with his word. He is true. He, his prophecies have come to pass over and over and over. And you can check him for yourself and you know he is real. He is a real God who loves you, cares about you in every way possible. So I'm just going to go here and read um, Wise or Foolish. 
Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom, and five of them were wise and five was foolish. Matthew 25, 1, 2. Okay, Ellen White says here, we are not to rest in the idea that because we are church members, <laughs> because we are church members, we are saved. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A lot of people wearing the Christian badge and, uh, and, and, and dinging and uh, I think Mina, Mina Grabin like to talk about that too. You know, people dancing and shouting and singing and they just think everything's going to be all right. Glorifying God as they claim. And you know, they don't even have Yeshua in their life. They don't even have him in their heart, their mind, their soul at all. They just going along with the crowds. Okay. So I, I know what she's saying right here when she say that. We are not to rest in the idea that because we are church members, we are saved. While we give no evidence that we are conformed to the image of Christ, Yeshua. While we cling to our old habits and weave our fabric with the threads of worldly ideas and customs. The ten virgins are waiting in the evening of this earth's history. All claim to be Christians. That's why I told you a testing time is coming, people. Everybody can go around and say, I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I love the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But when it comes for the test, the test, the test, will you stand? Will I stand? I'm talking to me too. Will you stand? Okay? Because it's going to come a testing time, people. And it's going to prove who we really are. Okay? Not just the outside glitter and gold is going to prove who we are inside. Do we really love the Lord? Are we really going to die for the Lord? Are we really going to stand for the Lord? Will we be martyred for the Lord? Oh, you know, are, are, are we just going to go over and join the other side because we are chicken out? We have chicken out and we never really had him in our heart in the first place. So we need to be really, really testing our hearts and minds and souls and making sure that we have given our life to Yeshua HaMashiach and not fooling nobody. Because you're not fooling nobody but yourself. Okay? Nobody but yourself. And you show sure not fooling Yeshua because he know us inside and out. Okay? He know us inside and out. He's an x-ray machine. He know us inside and out. And what we're doing every hour, what we're thinking every day, he knows us people, okay? So it says, all claims to be Christians. All have a call. See, all have a call. All have a call, a name, a watch for his appearing. But five are wanting. Five are wanting. I just skipped something. I got to go back and read. I just skipped something. My eyes getting weird sometimes. All have a call, a name, a lamp, okay, a lamp, and all claim to be doing God's service, okay, all claim to be doing God's service. All apparently watch for his appearing, but five are wanting, five will be found surprised, dismayed, outside the banquet hall. We are represented either by the wise or by the foolish virgins. There are many who will not remain at the feet of Yeshua, Jesus, and learn of him. They have not a knowledge of his ways. They are not prepared for his coming. They have made a pretense of waiting for their Lord. A pretense. Pretending. Acting. Acting. Faking. Oh, hello. How you doing? Oh, I, I praise the Lord. I'm happy. You know, we can't, we can't go on with that stuff, people. It's time to be real. Real with yourself, real with Yeshua, knowing if you need a savior, do you need a physician, do you need a counselor, do you need a wise man to tell you something real and true. He is the one people, he's the only one can save us. Okay, so she says here, she says here. Oh, uh, we are, okay, yeah, okay, uh, we, they have not a knowledge of his ways, they are not prepared for his coming, they have made a pretense, that's right, pretense of waiting for their Lord, they have not watched and prayed with that faith which works by love and purifies the soul, they have lived a life of carelessness, all of us have, carelessness, carelessness, slowfulness, laziness, just don't want to do what we need to be doing. A lot of people God have called. Many are called, few are chosen. And we don't decide to do anything. Nothing. We just try to make excuses. 
don't want to do anything. I know myself, I should have been preaching a long time ago. I was trying to do sales work and MLMs and you name it, doing all this stuff until I had a video done with the rich guy, the millionaire guy, Robert Hollis. Robert Hollis, I'll say his name. And I did a video with him. And then I was thinking I was getting ready to do business, business online. And then I go to my bathroom one morning and the Lord say, when are you going to do a video for me? When are you going to do a video for me, Marner? And I'm like, a video for you? I didn't know I was supposed to be doing videos for you. Oh, yeah, you think I'm just taking you through these trainings for business? It's not for business. It's for the calling I have called upon your life. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. <laughs> so now that's why I'm on video, people. Otherwise, I would not be here. I didn't want to put my face on a camera. I didn't want to do it, okay? I didn't want to. But if Yahweh tells me to do it, I have to do it. I am assigned to do it. I am assigned to go out into all the world and preach the gospel. And that means I have no boundaries. I could preach in America. I can preach in Africa. I can preach in India. I can preach in Australia. I can preach in China. I can preach in Russia. I can preach anywhere, people. That's my boundaries, okay? So I'm so happy that he's finally training me to do what I need to do. And I'm taking so long, seem like, to get where I need to be going. But I've been preaching all my life pretty much but you know I didn't I never preach so much now as I am now as I'm doing now okay so praise the Lord hallelujah praise you Lord thank you father so it says carelessness they have heard and accented to the truth but they have never brought it into their practical life <laughs> they practical life okay God is practical I told you I shop with him I talk with him, I shop with him, I walk with him, I cook with him. You know, he wants to be in every part of your life. And when you become a personal, when you have build a personal relationship with him, you will be including him in all of your life. I don't care if you're paying a bill today. I don't care what you're doing. He's included in all your life. Okay, that's what he wants to do. They have heard and accented to the truth. But they have never brought it into their practical life. The oil of grace is not feeding their lamps. And they are not prepared to enter into the marriage supper of the Lamb. Hallelujah. You, know, you don't want to miss out on the marriage supper of the Lamb. You do not want to miss out on that, people. Be not like the foolish virgins who take for granted that the promises of God are theirs, while they do not follow the injunctions of Christ, Yeshua. Christ teaches us that profession is nothing. If any man would come after me, he says, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. When we stand the test of God in the refined and purifying process, when the furnace fire consumes the dross and the true goal of a purified character appears, we may still say with Paul, not as though I had already attained... Either were already perfect, but I follow after this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth into those things which are before I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Yeshua. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So that's what I, I just had to talk about, wise or foolish. And I'm going to go to this quick 196 here page. Oh, uh, people, this is wonderful. This is so wonderful, all this knowledge, all this wisdom. And we need to be really receiving it because now is the time to receive our Savior who loves us so much. Because it's coming a day when we're going to be betrayed, okay? Betrayed by friends and relatives, okay? And former brethren are worse, the worst person going to be the worst prosecutors that sh the Ellen is saying here. So I'm going to try to read between the two pages here and, and wrap this up. Wow, betrayed by friends and relatives. Do that sound familiar? You know, in the Bible, uh, Abraham, uh, God told Abraham to get out from among his, kin his kindred. And I can relate to that. You know, really, I can relate to that. I won't get into any, any negativity about it today. But I know sometimes you have to go out from among family, go out from among friends, get away from people who are calling you to, causing you to sin worse, uh, sin uh, just sin, period, or not go about your father's business, as I'm saying. Like Jesus used to tell his parents, don't you know, he was looking for me, looking for me, looking for me, looking for me. 
He said, I was about doing my father's business. So, you know, we need to be doing our father's business and not letting the sidelines get us, not letting people get us friends and family and, and people carrying us down the, the narrow pathway of destruction. Then we need to be going and, and lifting up our, our God and working for him and doing what he have called us to do. Okay, betrayed by friends and family. I'm going to read some of this. A man foes shall be they of his own household, Matthew eleven thirty six. 36. When the law of God is made void and the church is sifted by the fiery trials that are to try all that live upon the earth, a great proportion of those who are supposed to be genuine will give heed to seducing spirits and will turn traitors and betray sacred trust. They will prove our very worst persecutors of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them and many will give heed to seducing spirits those who apostatize in the time of trial will bear false witness and betray their brethren to secure their own safety they will tell where where their brethren are concealed put in the wolves on their track Christ has warned us of this, that we may not be surprised at the cruel, unnatural course pursued by friends and relatives. We shall find that we must let loose of all hands except the hand of Yeshua HaMashiach, as she says here, Jesus Christ. For friends will prove treacherous and will betray us. Relatives deceived by the enemy will think they do God's service in opposing us and putting forth the utmost effort to bring us into hard places hoping we will deny our faith but we may trust our hand in the hand of Christ amid darkness and peril the followers of Christ must expect to encounter sneers they will be reviled their words and their faith will be misrepresented coldness and contempt may be harder to endure than martyrdom Parents will turn harshly against their children who accept unpopular truth. Those who conscientiously serve God will be accused of rebellion. Accused of rebellion. Property that was willed to children. You know, property willed to children? Wow. Property that will will to your children or other relatives who believe the present truth will be given into other hands. Guardians will rob orphans and widows of their just dues. Those who depart from evil will make themselves a prey through laws enacted to compel the conscience. Men will take to themselves property to which they have no right. The words of the apostle will be verified in the near future. All that will live godly in Christ Yeshua shall suffer persecution. Persecution. And you know, I'm going to stop right here because I won't have time to get into the other page, but I'm going to stop here because my time's gone. But people, I'm telling you, we're going to be persecuted. Speaking of persecution, I'm going to post down below. I just God just revealed it to me. It's an article coming from um, it's an article coming from um, a guy, a uh, uh, call for the uprising. Okay, call for the uprising. And he's got an article that came out of uh, uh, an article today. The popular I don't article, and I can't say the name of the uh, newspaper right now. They are saying Jesus Yeshua is the first transgender man. Now you see what kind of lie that is. So I'm going to post that and let you see that. But see, this is what I mean. They're going to be coming against you. Coming, They came against Christ. He said they persecuted me, so they're going to persecute you. And they are already persecuting Yeshua, saying that he was the first transgender man. Now, how foolish does that sound, people? So I'm going to post that down below as well. I almost forgot about it. Thank you, Father, for reminding me of that. That's a very important article to look at, knowing that we are in the end, at the end, that people are going against Christ, going against Yeshua, going against Yahshua, and they don't understand that soon and very soon, he is soon to come, people. So I'm going to go, and you have a blessed day today. I'm so happy that I could come and share these things of importance with you. I know that we need to be preparing, preparing, getting food, water, keeping things in our households, like I say every day. Um, and I will come back and talk to you on another video as the weekend is drawing nigh. Um,
people, I love you so much for your comments and your emails and, and all your uh, encouragement. Uh, it just lets me know I belong where I belong. I, God sent me to be here where I am for this time and, and for such a time as this. So I just ask that you keep praying for me. Keep praying for yourself. Get those spiritual warfare prayers out. Use them over your families because we have to speak it out, okay? Speak it to the enemy, okay? Knowing that greater he that is in us than he that is in the world. Oh, Father, come and be with the people watching today. I ask that you come into their homes, Father. I dispatch Catch holy angels to come into their home and wrestle with them, Father. Shake them up, Father. Let them know that you're coming soon, Father. Let them know they need to give their life to you now, Father. Father, while they have breath to breathe, Father, just help them to know that time is short, running out, and they need to do it now. Today, Father, is the day of salvation. We thank you so much for your love and care for us, Father. Everybody is going through something in their life. Somebody is going through relational problems. Somebody is need a job. Somebody need money, food, shelter, clothing. Some people are sleeping on the bridge at this time, Father. I just ask that you put your Holy Spirit in the midst of them all, Father. Help them to know that you can supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory in Yeshua HaMashiach. So I ask that you just supply their needs right now today, Father. You are the great Elohim. You are our great Father of all fathers. You are the King of all kings, Lord of all lords. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. We don't need rock, wood, and stone, Father. We just ask that you help them to see, Father. Open their eyes to see. And we ask these blessings upon the people today, Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And we ask it all in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen. Thank you so much. Shalom, shalom. I love you, people. I thank you. I'll be back again on another video. And as I say always, remember, without him, you can do absolutely nothing. Amen and amen. Have a great day. Bye-bye.